Hey guys, welcome again to another video on our channel. On this video today, we're going to be doing a review of the Residence Inn by Marriott in Seattle, Washington. If you have been watching our videos, you will see that I've done a lot of reviews on a lot of hotels that we've stayed in, and this one is another review of that. And these videos are not sponsored by the hotels or Marriott. It is truly my reviews that I'm providing based on our stay there. If you're new to our channel, we are the Ponzo family, and we provide tips on travel, food, and our family adventures. And if this is something that interests you, please be sure to subscribe. And our goal this year is to hit 500 subscribers to our channel by the end of this year. We only got two and a half months away and we hope we can hit that goal with your help. So be sure you share this video, hit the like button, and make sure you comment on our video so that way we can beat Mr. Algorithm. We're right now sitting about 230 some viewers or subscribers and we'd like to get there to our 500 goal. So thank you again for helping us to get and achieve that goal. If you've been watching our videos when we travel, we like to find a hotel that is accommodating, it's proximity to a lot of things that we wanna do and also that is comfortable. And for this one here, the Residence Inn uh, by Marriott in downtown Seattle, Washington, it provided all the things that we needed. So we're going to be reviewing this hotel uh, from the amenities that they provide and also the room aspect itself and then food and overall uh, everything that is around it. The hotel is located right in the heart of the city, uh, just a few blocks away from the West Lake, uh, the Space Needle, and other activity areas such as sporting events or sporting uh, arena for the Seattle uh, Mariners and the Seattle Seahawks. And also it's conveniently located around uh, shops and restaurants. Uh, so that way you can be able to uh, be close enough to all the activities while you're staying there. Uh, and within uh, driving minutes, you can be able to see other amenities that, that Seattle, Washington has to offer. The hotel lobby, it is gorgeous, beautiful with modern day amenities. Uh, it's just very spacious. That makes you have the feel that you're staying in a uh, very luxurious apartment uh, building. It is just amazing. You can be able to actually sit there and enjoy uh, in the lobby area. It is a great lobby and it gives you just the feel uh, with great vibes when you arrive at the, at the hotel. Next thing we want to talk about is the amenities that's provided by the hotel. Uh, this hotel provides a gym uh, for their guests to be able to use while they're staying there if they want to exercise. And then from the gym, you have views of the city. However, the one thing we did not see that they had was a pool, um, unless I'm mistaken, but we, there, were, there were no pools available uh, in the hotel area. They also provide breakfast. Uh, and I must say because of the pandemic, breakfast was not fully available. They had pre-packaged meal uh, that we will grab every morning uh, to be able to take it to our room or you can eat it from downstairs. And then they provided you with coffee, typical food that you will get from residence in. And now to the room. I must say, I've stayed in a lot of residence in, uh, and this room here uh, felt a little bit tiny in comparison to a lot of the uh, residence in that we've stayed uh, either throughout the US or globally. The room was uh, very small, not spacious at all for the family of four of us. Uh, we felt a little bit cramped in there, but overall, it actually uh, was enough, I think, for the duration that we stay there. You have a kitchen, a full kitchen, where you can be able to prepare a meal, uh, and they provide with all the tools that you need to, to have in the kitchen. Uh, we were able to utilize the refrigerator and being able to make some of the meals while we were there. And then for as far as the bed area, the bed was comfortable enough for us to be able to sleep there. Uh, and then it provides you great views of the city and you can be able to uh, overlook the city from the, the room area. And then they give you a sitting area, which serves also as a sofa bed for the kids to use 
uh, for sleeping area for them. And then the bathroom area was spacious enough. They had the modern day uh, decor as far as uh, bathroom is concerned. The shower was big enough uh, for us to use and I, there were no issues there when it comes to the bathroom. Uh, and then we also had a closet space where you can actually store uh, your belongings so that way it's not in, in your space right in front of you. So uh, that's a huge plus when you're traveling. When it comes to this hotel, I, I feel like because of the pandemic, there are certain things lacking there, uh, such as the breakfast that was not available as a freshly prepared breakfast that we're used to in other hotels, and also not having the pool and their rooms were a little bit tiny uh, in comparison to the other hotels. Other than that, I feel like the location of the hotel, it is great. It's, uh, very close to a lot of places that you can go to, but it was right centrally located, uh, so which is a plus. Uh, the bed were comfortable, uh, the decor of the lobby area is great, so that's a huge plus for, for that specific hotel. Overall, I would definitely recommend this hotel if you want to stay downtown Seattle, Washington. I think it's one of the options that you can be able to look for, especially if you're traveling with family, with kids, uh, this hotel will be able to accommodate you guys. Again, thank you for watching this video. If this was something that was informative, please make sure that you hit the like button, share this video with many other friends, and also make sure you hit the notification button so that way you know when we drop a brand new video. See you on the next one.